Hi, in this video we're going to look at a few things to do with the equation of straight lines. This includes horizontal and vertical lines and also diagonal lines as well. So horizontal and vertical lines are sort of one of the simpler things to get your head around. If you want to plot the line, say y equals 4, all you need to do is find the y-axis, find where the 4 is, and it's going to be a straight line going across that 4. And that's all the radius to it. Just a few more examples, so that's y equals 4. If you wanted, say, x equals minus 1, you go to the x-axis, you find where minus 1 is, and you want a straight line going through that. So it's worth mentioning, just a reminder, that any y equals lines, they're going to be horizontal. Any x equals lines, they're going to be vertical. <coughs> uh, so a couple of special cases, y equals 0 looks a bit more awkward, but it's basically just a horizontal line going through 0. So that is y equals 0. OK, for every a straight line graph, as in ones that aren't horizontal or vertical, we have this basic form, y equals mx plus c. The m, that stands for the gradient, or how steep the line is. And the c is the y-cut. That's where it cuts the y-axis. So let's look at a few graphs, and we can basically read those fairly quickly off them. So the form is y equals mx plus c. This c is the y-cut. Here this y-cut's 0. So if it cut here, the y-cut would be 1, be a plus 1 at the end. Then we need the gradient. You can basically define the gradient as if you go one square across, how many squares up do you go? So here I go one square across and I go three squares up. So this equation would be y equals 3x, or redundantly, y equals 3x plus 0. This equation, same idea. First thing I always recommend doing is writing down y equals mx plus c. Again, we can see c is going to be 0 because I cut through 0. I now need to work out the gradient. So again, I zoom in a bit. If I go one square across, I can see that I go half a square up. So here's going to be y equals a half x. And again, redundantly plus 0. OK. This one, the exact same idea. It's going to be y equals mx plus c. Here my c is not 0. If I zoom in on my y cut is here, that means it's going to end with a minus 1 because c is the cut at minus 1. Next will be the gradient. We can start the gradient from wherever. So I'll look at this point here. If I go one square across, I can see I go two squares up. Therefore, the gradient is 2. So y equals 2x minus 1. Okay, same idea again. Again, you should pretty much read this off really quickly when you get around to it. So y equals mx plus c. The y cut is 2, so it's going to be something plus 2. And if I go one square across, I have to go three squares up to get back to the line. So y equals 3x plus 2. Special case, for lines that look like this, but basically slant this direction, they're all going to have a minus gradient. So let's quickly go through this one. So it's y equals mx plus c. You can see that that y cut is at plus 4. And here, if I go one square across, I go one square down. If you go down, when you go across, that is to the right. Whenever you go down, that means the gradient is negative. So because I've gone one square down, it's going to be minus 1x or just minus x plus 4. One more idea like that. And then we can move on past this. So we have y equals mx plus c. We can see the y cut is at minus 1. And the m, I go one square across and I go two squares down. If I've gone squares down, that means my gradient is negative. So it's y equals minus 2x minus 1. OK, in okay, case you get some wordy questions. So here we want the equation of a line with a gradient of 4 that passes through 0, 5. So if I know it goes through 0, 5 on my graph, that basically tells me straight away that that y cut is going to be 5. So it's going to be y equals something plus 5. And again, because it's y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient, and we're told that is 4. So it's just y equals 4x plus 5. A few more of these. As long as the x coordinate is 0, you can just write these off. The gradient is 2, and because x is 0, that means the y cut was minus 1. Okay, what gets slightly more interesting is when this value isn't zero. 
So we're going to start with y equals mx plus c. Now we're just going to fill in what we can fill in. So the gradient's 3, so I have 3x plus c so far. To work out what c is, I'm just going to substitute in these two coordinates. So for any coordinate pair, that's an x value and a y value. The x always comes first and the y comes second. So I know here x was 7 and y was 23. So let's plug that in. We can then work out 3 times 7 is 21. And then solving out, we can see c is 2. So for your final answer, you basically merge these two together to say y equals 3x plus 2. Okay, same idea again. We have the formula y equals mx plus c. We plug in what we know, which is the gradient, which gives me this form. And now I'm going to plug in this coordinate. Again, the x coordinate always comes first. So x is 4 and y is 2. Half times 4 is just 2. So I have 2 equals 2 plus c. Therefore, c is 0. So my final equation is just y equals a half x, or half x plus 0 redundantly. Okay, and that's it. Hope that was useful, and thanks for listening.